Okay, but it's Sam back once again. I am here at the Sony booth checking out the Sony Xperia Z2 against the Samsung Galaxy Note 3. Let's do a quick comparison. So as you can see, we've got the Galaxy Note 3 here and the Sony Xperia Z2. Now, you can probably see the difference off there. This actually got a much brighter display as the Galaxy Note 3. But when you actually pull it up, as you can see there, it's still not very, very bright. Now, it is its full brightness, so it just doesn't seem as bright. But for some reason, it's actually got really good blacks. So I think the drawback is that it's not as bright as it's been in the past, but you've got some very, very good black details, which is a good trade-off in my opinion. You don't need the brightest screen in the world, especially in England, where we don't get a lot of sun. Now, running down both the specifications, they are very, very similar. We have got a Snapdragon 800 against a Snapdragon 801, three gigabytes of RAM in both, full 1080p displays, 5.7 against 5.2, but the biggest thing is the phones are very, very similar size. So you are getting a bigger screen on a, in a phone that's relatively the same size. Yeah, I would have liked a smaller bezel Sony, but at the end of the day, we always know they're gonna have massive bezels on there. I do wish to kind of tone it down a tiny bit. They've done it a little bit more, but Come on, let's get rid of those buzzers all together. Anyway, let's take you around the both devices really quickly. So if I just uh, pick both these ones up. So on the right side of each device, you've got your camera button there, your volume up and down, as well as your power assist lock switch. And there you've got your micro SD card slot. On the Samsung, you've got your power assist lock switch. On the top of the devices, pretty similar kind of layout. But your IR blaster and your 3.5 mm headphone jack. This has not got an IR blaster, it's just a secondary microphone. Down the left side of the device, you've got your charging, so you've got your micro SD for charging and syncing, as well as your micro SD card. Volume up and down, and that's pretty much it till you get down to your little lanyard slip at the bottom. Bottom of the devices, you've got your charging port on the Samsung, and on the Sony, you've got the secondary microphone, well, the main microphone, which I think is three, but it's actually much about three holes, they're not really the same. S Pen on the Galaxy Note 3. Back of the device, is a slight difference here. 13 megapixels against 20.7. Both got an LED flash, but as you can see, the Galaxy has actually got a considerably bigger LED flash. I don't know if it's gonna make a massive difference in terms of the actual performance, but we will find out. Now, the speakers on the Sony are actually front firing speakers. So, hello HTC, we're coming after you. We've got a front facing speaker there and a front speaker there, and they actually do sound pretty nice. They're not actually that bad. Whereas on the Samsung, it is just a tiny one at the bottom, which to be fair, is not bad for a one at the front, one at the bottom even. And on the front of them, they've both got around two megapixels for the front facing camera. So, I mean, they've got a very similar feel. I mean, they both are technical plastic. Even though this is solar's glass, it's more of a glass resin. So it's more plastic than glass in there. But all in all, I'm a fan of both these devices. As you see, they're, they are a bit large. I can only just get the Galaxy Note on the screen. Which one do you prefer? The Galaxy device or the Sony device? The Xperia device, let's call it. Let me know in the comment down below. Anyway, people, that is it. That's my quick comparison between the Galaxy Note 3 and the Sony Xperia Z2. Anyway, thanks for watching, and you'll see me in my next video. Cheers, everyone.